Yeah. What up, Land TV? We're back. We're back. Coming at you again. I don't know where we're going. You don't know where we're going? No. Yeah, it's a secret. Mm. But we're on our way to the fair. Oh, um, yeah. You told me. You don't know what a fair is, though, do you? You know what a fair is? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What is it? A fair. <laughs> Mama driving. Mama's got a big belly. That's her driveway. So it's a big. <laughs> She's got a big belly. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So yeah, we're gonna go have a little fun today. Get out of the house. Get out of the house and hang out at the fair for a little while. It's gonna be fun, Dwayne. We you will. You don't know what a fair is, so how do you know it's gonna be fun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll uh, keep going with this once we get there. Was about how many, how many miles? How much, how much time? It's about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minute drive? Yeah. Not bad. Sin Center Vale. It's not too far from us. Guys, it's crazy not like drive. Else. Gotta wait for we gotta wait for a few minutes to <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's only gonna be a split second for them, huh, Bubby? Yeah. Split second, like, boop, we're there. Almost there, y'all. Yeah. 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 A little bit, of, a little bit of scenery in here. Good old Michigan for you. Very happy people. Very happy. Uh, <laughs> and that's the horse field. It's a horse field? Yeah, that's the show. Um, oh yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Almost so gas is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, 368 a gallon. Where we're at. Let me know where it's at, where, you're at, where you guys live. Yeah, this close to getting there. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah. Not that far. And um, we're... Just had to stop at the gas station there. for a minute. Then we'll be there. Yay! Yay! Oh, Alright guys, we're getting close. But the taco poles are... Right over there. Yeah, All them busy. But, but the... All them cars. But there's a lot. There's a lot of people there, right? Yeah, oh, there's a lot. You have that one. Here we go. All the vendors are here. God bless America. Oops. We're here, guys. More fun to continue. Oh, hey, yeah. Come here, Bob. Bob. Look. The American? Yeah. American flag? Yeah, it's just a flag. <laughs> We're here, guys. Is that cool? Look at that big thing. No. You can fit inside it. <laughs> that thing's a monster, oh, ain't it? Dude. This is he says, oh, dude. Oh, It's got hooks, huh? It's cool, ain't it? Dude, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this way, babe. You see another blue one? You like that one, though. Go stand by the tire. Go stand by it. It's taller than you. Look at that thing. That thing's a beast. That thing the hey, look, we could drive our car under here. <laughs> My car would fit. Oh, I've seen another one. That's kind of like yours. Yeah, that one looks like your toy one, Bob. I lost the car. Lost the car. Come on. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. 
Hey, but that one's cool, ain't it? I don't know Are you ready to keep walking? Come on, Bubba. Let's go this way. Let's go. This is like Mago. That's like Mago. That one kind of looks like Mago. Dead. English lot. Oh, the, oh, the bunnies! The yep. Yeah. Oh, a farmer. A farmer. You found yours. <laughs> oh, that one's getting me wet. <laughs> that one flung water at me. <laughs> Yeah. You see him? <laughs> I can't stand the small chickens. <laughs> no. We're going to go out? There you go. Pen and Bob. This way. Yeah. I'd be mad if he farted. Pin the goat. That'd be nice. Bah. <laughs> I'm looking at him like, what are you? He wants some more of you. I'm gonna lick you. <laughs> Hi, buddy. This is an escape artist. <laughs> yeah. He's lonely? Yeah. You didn't see the horses? Why are you going so fast? Stop. You're not even looking at him. I mean, look at him. Look how pretty. Over here. Did you, did you look over here? Oh, no, I go around. <laughs> Big boy. Hey. Look, they got a place called Fat Balls. <laughs> they don't have any of the rides set up yet. We came just to look around and uh, get some fair food. And I gotta get my peanuts. No, those are almonds, sorry. Almonds. Yeah. Almonds. I love those things. Yeah, no, the rides are set up. But we really didn't come to ride the rides. They're outrageous. <laughs> maybe, maybe next year we can, because, you know, Kenzie will be here and everything. You can get whatever you want to eat, you know? It, it depends, because this year they. For wristbands, for some of the rides, you have to do wristbands plus tickets. Yeah, Which, that that's crazy. It used to be okay. wristbands just when we were younger. Yeah, or just tickets, you know. So yeah, they're having a sharks here. Apparently, a shark exhibit. 
Dwayne wants to see those so bad. Don't you? We got 15 minutes. All right, we'll see. Shark times, one, three, and seven o'clock. Right over there, where we're headed. Do I, you want to look at the tractors real quick? You want to look at the tractors first? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You ready? You ready for him? doing today oh come on guys we're outside you guys could do better than that how's everybody doing today yeah. that's better I'm gonna start off by introducing myself my name is Felipe this is my beautiful assistant Gabriela and together we're gonna try to teach you guys a little bit about sharks but before we get started we want to clear one thing up that we get asked everywhere we go that is if this glass back here is strong enough or if it's gonna break, and we're gonna have sharks out here eating everybody like a scene from Sharknado or something. <laughs> so in order to test that out, I'm gonna need a medium-sized volunteer. When the kids wanna help me out? Yeah, you. You wanna help me out, buddy? No? Somebody? Yeah, how about you back there? Yeah, come on up. Give her a round of applause, guys. All right. Come on in. And what's your name? Madison. Madison? Do you like sharks? Yes. Well, I'm sure they like you too. <laughs> you ready to help me test out this glass? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll grab the stool so you can reach up there. All right. Yeah, just go ahead and climb on up there. You're going to give this a nice, good, solid smack, okay? But oh, wait, wait, wait. Before she does that, she does look pretty strong. You happen to have a swimming pool at home? Mm-hmm. All right, so just in case she does break this glass and we have sharks flopping around out here, I'm gonna need your guys' help, all right? I'm gonna need you guys to run up here, grab the sharks, hold them real tight because they wiggle around like crazy, and then just chase Madison all the way home. Throw the sharks in her swimming pool, add a little salt, a little pepper, makes me sneeze. <laughs> you ready? All right, nice good smack, all right? Help us count down for three, guys. Ready? Three, three two, two, one. Go yeah. for it! Oh no, you broke it! Wait, does anybody have any flex seal or, or some gum? Here, here, put your hand here. You broke it, not me. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> duct tape, perfect. Fixes everything. You're going to put that duct tape on there. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the water. You grab the tape. Ready? One, two, three, go, go, go. Oh no, hurry up. We're getting wet. I think it's Spectre's left for the day. It's alright, but hurry up, hurry up, go, go. Yeah, you don't have to tear the whole thing off. Just, just put the whole thing on there. Hurry up, go. Give her a round of applause, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, perfect. Just leave that. That's all right. We're safe. Come on down here. And now that you're all wet, you ready to go for a swim? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not going to get your clothes wet anymore. Gabby's got a wetsuit there for you. Just go ahead and climb on up there. And, uh, uh, oh, no, hold on. Wait, wait. That, that's from the last show. Get her a new one. <laughs> Just messing around with you. Give her a round of applause, guys. She was ready to climb in there. <laughs> All right. Well, enough goofing around. Now I got to get in there with them. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about nurse sharks. Nurse sharks are actually responsible for most provoked shark attacks on humans. And that's mainly because these sharks here, 
lay motionless at the bottom of the ocean. See how she's doing there and how they were doing before the show, how they kind of like to just lay there? Well, that's because they have a special pump built in where they can pump water over their gills to extract the oxygen. Now, like most fish, you know, the sharks that have to keep swimming their whole life to live. Well, these guys could actually lay motionless at the bottom of the ocean, and divers will see them down there. They'll swim down there to try to touch one or get a selfie with them. These guys will turn around and chomp. And the reason they get bit it's not because the sharks are trying to eat them, it's because they're curious. So they don't have hands. The best way they can feel is with their mouth. The good thing, they have really small teeth. The bad thing, they have hundreds of them. <laughs> and they're really sharp. And I gotta jump in there with them. I think I'm gonna quit stalling. Hopefully I don't get bit today or you kids are gonna learn a whole lot of new words. Here we go. Let me just throw on my underwater mic. And I'll be right back. Okay. Oh no, it looks like I lost my underwater mic for some reason. I just got it working. And now... I don't know, we're going to have to go to our backup, so Gabby's going to have to do the show out here. Sorry about that, guys. Let's continue on. And as I prepare to climb in here, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit on how it's believed that nurse sharks got their name. Now, it's believed that nurse sharks got their name because of the way that they eat. It's said to resemble a baby nursing. So I'm going to show you what I mean. I got another microphone up here with me. I'm going to go ahead and feed them so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. Let's see if you guys can hear this out there. So that, that noise that you're hearing, well that's supposed to resemble a baby nursing. That'd be a pretty violent baby if you ask me. <laughs> Alright. Sharks actually have a really good sense of smell. It's believed that they can smell a single drop of blood in an Olympic sized swimming pool. Oh, oh no. No, I think I got them in a feeding frenzy. And I gotta jump in there with them. Probably should have thought of that earlier. Oh well. Here we go. we wait for him did you guys know that they eat mostly basic because they're bottom feeders they mostly eat any fish they can find on the bottom of the ocean like crab mollusks even shrimp they love shrimp just like me <laughs> it looks like he's going in Now, let's see, we're gonna start introducing our start of the show. We're gonna start with the youngest. She's about seven years old, and her name is Rosita. Let's see if she, he can find Rosita on the tank. Rosita actually came to us from Mexico, Mazatlan, where she was kept alive in a bathtub from some family they used to have her. Now she's happily with us. Next is our beautiful nine-year-old, Abby. Abby's right over there. She actually came for us to us from uh, Florida, all the way from Florida, from a touch tank where she outgrew it. And next, like, last but not least, is our favorite, our big boy Jimmy. He's about 11 years old. Right over there, he is getting longer than Felipe. He's about six and a half feet. 
and he actually came to us from Texas from a cancer research center. It's speaking of science research. Can you show us, Felipe, what happens if you flip the shark? Let's see if he can do it. Uh, it's kind of hard, right? <laughs> so what he's gonna do is called tonic immobility. That's when you take a shark, you flip it upside down, and it puts them into a trance -like state. So it's kind of like taking a nap. It doesn't hurt them, but he doesn't do it correctly. You can hurt him. Let's see if he can pull it off. Rosita is already taking it up. <laughs> I think he should try with Abby. She's more friendly. I have to swim faster. Oh. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Yeah, you guys can see, she's really calm. That's how we can check her if you have any injuries on the bottom. And but he's, when he's ready to let go of her, you will just flip over and off she go, just like normal. Good job, Felipe. Now, I usually will ask him, how can you tell the difference between male and female? So let's see if we can show the Jimmy what they have is clasper. It's like fingerless body part. Let's see right over here. I think they're really lazy today. They don't wanna. But right over there. Those are clasper. Only the male have those. It's the same body part as male stingrays. And next, my usually my question is how do they feel when you touch them? It's really it's a common question that we have usually. You will think it's really soft like a dolphin. Actually no, they're really, really rough. And that's because their all skin is made of a, like little tiny um, teeth called denticles. That's how the skin are. It's really, really rough, kind of like sandpaper. And let's see if we can actually find it too, because shark actually shared, shared the teeth, the whole entire life. And the tank is completely lit with them. Let's see if we'll bring one little tooth. You find one? Oh, perfect, bring it right over here. Yep, we'll wait for you. And while we wait for them, did you guys know that there are more than 500 different species of sharks and none of them have a single bone in their body? That's because their skeleton is made of a cartilage, just like our nose and ears. So the only hard part of their body is your teeth, just like the one Felipe is going to bring right now. And that's because their all skin is made of a like little tiny um, teeth called denticles. That's how the skin are. It's really, really rough, kind of like sandpaper. And let's see if we can actually find it too, because shark actually shared, shared the teeth the whole entire life, and the tank is completely lit with them. Let's see if we'll bring one little tooth. You find one? Oh, perfect. Bring it right over here. Yep, we'll wait for you. And while we wait for them, did you guys know that there are more than 500 different species of sharks? and none of them have a single bone in their body. That's because their skeleton is made of a cartilage, just like our nose and ears. So the only hard part of their body is your teeth, just like the one Felipe is gonna bring right now. All right, sorry about that guys. I'm not too sure what happened to that mic. Where's my volunteer from earlier? Yeah, come on up. I got you wet, you get a free shark tooth. There you go. Since the mic was acting up and we're in such a good mood today, everybody here gets a free shark tooth. You just gotta climb in there and get it yourself. <laughs> well, as you guys can see, sharks aren't so bad after all. So if you guys could help preserve your natural environments by recycling, we'd all greatly appreciate it. And that just about does it for our show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I promise I'll get that mic working by the next show. And if you guys have any questions or want to come hang out with us, we'll be hanging out right over here. Have a good one, guys.
Pretzel, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yummy. I got the bucket fries. I got the Polish sausage. Yummy. I just want to find some ketchup. They good? All right. Huh? I should have brought our bucket. I know. Should anytime. <laughs> yeah, we got like three of these at home. I know. Every year we get one. Well, every time we come, yeah. We're ready to dig into this thing. Hmm. All right, so we had our fun. We all ate, got full, looked at the animals. Yeah, there ain't no rides today, bub. But did you still have fun? You got to see the sharks. Oh, careful! Oh, we're not watching the tractor poles, Bubba. No, because last time we watched those, they weren't very good, baby. Yeah. There was only six of them. Yeah, six cars the whole time. But, uh, yeah, we're getting ready to head out of here. It's been cool. fun. Thank you. All right, Land TV, headed off back home. I'm actually going to go to McDonald's first, get something to drink. So I don't really feel like paying eight bucks for a refill of pop. I'm gonna go to McDonald's and get some drink because it was hot today. It definitely warmed up. Was like, is it hot, Bob? I think he's hot. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be off to McDonald's now. Get some drink. Whew. A lot of walking today. A lot of people here, man. All right. Catch you in a little bit. I drink good old Mickey D's. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a large tea and then a large caramel frappe. They're so sweet. Um, for the large tea, uh, can you do a sweet tea instead? Please. <laughs> and that'll be it. That'll be it too. Oh, that'll be it. Yes. Yes. That'll be it. Oh, yes. Yes. I love you, I love you, I love you tomorrow. I love you, I see you love you. Hey, we're gonna be famous. No, I'm just kidding. You wanna be famous? Yay! <laughs> 
Chilling. Kai's chilling on the floor. <laughs> so yeah. My video. Uh, that's the fun part. That takes forever. But uh, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and turn the uh, post notification bell on. It's down below. Leave a comment. Something maybe you guys want to see. Whatever. All right. Thanks, guys.